Hey, what's going on YouTube people? How you been? It's been a while. How's my Blade brothers and Blade sister out there? Hope you all are doing fine, doing well. Stay safe out there and be safe. Uh, today I'm gonna have a short video of my uh, order here that came today and came from a traditional Filipino weapon and I'm going to unbox it this is my uh, Moro blade it is a barong a traditional weapon of the Filipino Muslims and I'm going to use my cold steel here my kubun to open it up and let's get it done This is my kaboon. And let's see. Uh, Box out of here, and okay. Uh, let's see. Let's open this up first. You know, I'm gonna find up uh, more blades from the Philippines. And I like their blades because it came with history on it. See the blade now over here. I like their packaging. Really secured. can see you can see the blade already and from here looks awesome So light. This really is a fighting weapon. You can maneuver this easily in combat. Last thing on it, of course, and there's an oil. Here is the blade. Here 
is the handle. Beautiful. And let's take out the sheet. This is really a traditional uh, sheet or scabbard in Southeast Asia. They use a, uh, I think this is a mangrove, and this is the wood. It's native in there. Here. Okay, this more wrong is a 15 inch a blade and uh, an overall length of uh, 21 inch, 21, I think 21.5 inches. And the weight is a pound and one ounce. No. This is good in hand. This is really a fighting weapon, fighting blade. You can easily maneuver it. And wow, it's very sharp. So, you know, it's so light. Chopping, slicing, and thrusting. You know? This is good for self-defense and utility tools too. So, okay, uh, this steel I think is made out of uh, a blended of 5160 steel and D2 steel. And uh, this barong is, uh, has a leaf shape style. It's a lip-shaped style bolos that came from our Muslim brothers in Southern Philippines. It's a, it's a weird looking blade, but it's a brutal weapon. It's a weird looking blade, but it's a brutal weapon. And, uh, and also it's good for utility tools out there in the farm. And uh, this blade uh, is good in close combat fighting. The Spanish and the Japanese knows very well of this weapon when they try to conquer the Mindanao Island in southern Philippines and they fail because of, you know, the resistance of our Muslim brothers out there. So, there you go. My Barong. This is a Moro Barong. I think they have it in a Visayan Barong. And a little longer than this. And a little narrower. But originally, it came from Mindanao. In Southern Philippines. So... Okay, I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you again and I will try to utilize this out in the field cutting uh, you know, woods and I will 
try the edge of this sword, the blade. All right. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much for all your support. And to all my viewers, thank you so much too. And keep in uh, keep watching and now uh, see, see you again pretty soon. Okay. Stay safe, stay sharp, and stay strong. Peace out.